Twerps, me and Junior here will help you out. He seems to think you're good people. <laughs> Sup, nerds? Ah, <laughs> uh, so fate has brought you here. Enter, my child. Yes, I see you will return until that day. Remain safe. Can you feel it? 
lost. You know where we are? No, but that's not the same as being lost. I think we might be going in circles. Or squares, I guess? But like, in a circle shape, too. Just keep moving. Maybe getting lost and dying in some creepy woods, but that's it.
might actually be lost now. See? Don't gloat. Nobody likes to know it all. There's very little I know about what's going on right now.
fast. Someone must be casting a spell on us or something. What? You got lost in school the other day. Yeah, but those hallways are long. And they all look the same. Lost. Or maybe we were so lost we got unlost from wandering around so lost, you know? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> she passed out. Come on, let's keep going. this place looks like some kind of skeleton market because it is welcome to the skeleton market I just said that I know you're very perceptive Enter, if you are true of heart. Ah, you found it. 
curses. Intriguing. Fascinating. Ah, you found it. Ah, you found it. Ah, you found it. Well then. Fascinating. I hope we meet again in this life or the next. Hey, you're that skeleton who greeted us when we first arrived. Tis true, tis I. Oh, jeez, you're not gonna talk like that the whole time, are you? Well, I like to bring a certain level of panache to my salesmanship, but if you're not having it, I can tone it down, sure. What is this place? We sell unusual goods, ones you would never find in a traditional market. Our local pawn shop has a lot of weird things for sale. Well, yes, maybe a bit of overlap there, but can they beat our prices? Probably. Oh. Well, we were forced to set up shop here after the witch Blair banished us in the most inhumane manner. Well, you're not human, right? No, technically, but people could still act a little kinder towards the skeleton vendors. What's worse is Blair stuffed my tarot cards into a t-shirt launcher and shot them out across the woods. I'm near powerless without them. We can help you find them. What? No, we've already got way too much on our plates. Oh, glorious. They should be nearby. Look for glowing, floating cards. Find them all and you'll be repaid in both goods and a very big smile from yours truly. Great, looking forward to that. Come on. We'll find your playing cards, Mr. Skeleton. And one of those carrot cards. Tarot cards. What's a tarot? I don't know, just keep looking. the sweetest thing. A mighty fine choice. Well, ain't that the sweetest thing? What a sweet tooth you got there. What a sweet tooth you got there. This here candy is a sweet, mighty fine choice. Well, ain't that... Stay safe out there, kiddo. shopkeeper with the golden cat. What's up, Boney? Oh, you know, just getting by, taking it one day at a time. You know how it is, right? I mean, we're not creepy skeleton monsters, but yeah, otherwise we can relate. And what, pray tell, are the two of you doing deep in these haunted woods? We're helping our friend Marion find out who put her under a spell. 
M Marion, you say? Oh, geez, I never heard that name before. I is it a name? You're hiding something, aren't you? Fine, you've got me, I'll talk. But only because you've been loyal customers, and I respect that. Back when I was more of a super villain and less of a purveyor of fine goods, I tussled with the Lee brothers a few times. And let me guess, you kidnapped Marion to get their attention? Well, that was generally how it was done back then. But she taught me a real lesson. I could still feel her fist in my gut. Ooh, indigestion. Did you put a spell on her? I would never. I mean, maybe back then if it had occurred to me, but it didn't. So now I just sell trinkets and impulse items. Speaking of, are you two in the market for any snacks, appliances, or rare forbidden treasures? Nope, unless one of them can get us through these vines. Ah, for that, you'll need ghost peppers. About six, I'd say. What's a hot pepper gonna do to a magic -y vine? No, a literal ghost pepper. They're the ghosts of peppers prematurely eaten. This town is so weird. Indeed. I saw some ghost peppers floating around here quite recently. I'm sure you could find some if you look around. Nice project, rad picker. Drop by any time. We'll be around. these things are there. Is that a ghost pepper? 
I mean, it looks like a little haunted pepper acting all spooky, so I'd guess so.
number five. Oof, my hands are starting to burn. See? They're horrible! Even ghosts. Yeah. What up, dudes? Y'all ready to get wrecked? No, that sounds painful. And annoying. What's your name, guy? I'm Crash, and nobody could be my best time at a Cross City Relay race. I guess that's a thing someone could be proud of. You two up for the challenge? What do we win if we beat your time? Bragging rights. Pass. And a cash prize. But, like, you should do it for the bragging rights. I'm sort of a big deal around here. So you keep saying. All right, let's see what you two are capable of. Ready? But they're, like, right there.
I've uh, never had my time beaten before. I think I need to be alone to process this bogus turn of events. Take your time, but give us that prize in the meantime. Oh, yeah. Fair is fair, huh? Here you go. They were pretty spicy. The after all. And haunt? Do you think they die using them like this? Best not to think about it. Maybe they become ghosts of ghosts. Yeah, let's go with that. What's going on? I feel weird. Yeah, I've got a really bad headache all of a sudden. And our heads are getting all glitchy. Shh, we're not supposed to be able to see those. Hmm? Oh yeah, sorry.
This looks like the place Marion described right before she passed out. Wait, so can we get out of here before what attacked her comes for us? Too late. you're doing here can't you see outsiders aren't welcome we didn't see a sign the dozens of ghosts ghouls and mazy forest wasn't a clue well i guess in hindsight anyway what do you want i'm very busy unless you've got cash then i'm slightly less busy did you cast a spell on our friend marion dunno i cast lots of spells describe her Long blonde hair, workout clothes, legendary abs. Yeah, I did. But only because I was paid to do so, so don't get all in my case about it. How'd you two know about that anyway? We broke her out of the spell. You what? Were we, uh, not supposed to do that? Do you have any idea how expensive that spell was? It required rare artifacts that are not cheap. And with my stupid guarantee, now it comes out of my pocket to cast it again. I swear, I told that demon we shouldn't offer that. <sighs> well, you could just, like, not put her back under a spell. Don't tell me how to do my job, okay? I'm a lot better at what I do than whatever the hell you two do. We punch and kick people. Sometimes wrestling moves, too. Cute. And how, pray tell, did you break my spell over Marion? With, uh, punching and kicking? And wrestling moves, like we said. Well, that's very annoying and rude. And now I'm gonna have to destroy you both. So don't take it personally, but also don't fight it, because I've got a terrible headache right now. Ugh, just like leave or whatever. The Magician! Magician. 
judgment. Get him, Apple Tater. Four. Four. Magician. I was getting bored anyway. All right, knock it off. I'm beat. You got me. Those were some wicked moves, though. I wish we knew how to do magic like that. I can teach you if you've got money. Yeah. It's a lot of money, though. Oh, we're generally pretty poor. Yeah, I figured. So piss off and leave me alone? I've already wasted too much time on you two. Wait, before we go, we need to know, why were you controlling Mary? I told you already, because I got paid. And really well, too. Yeah, but by who? <sighs> okay, well, this all goes back a few years. I was born into magic, literally. My dad was a stage magician and mom was a fortune teller. They loved their jobs and they loved each other. Aw, that's sweet. I love a good love story. But over time, their love faded. They needed more in their lives. So they cast a special spell and nine moons later, I came along. How's that work? I'll uh, explain it to you later. They taught me everything they knew at a young age. I was a powerful witch by age four, controlling creatures and minds by age six. Wait, like dark art stuff? You don't hang out with that Yamada guy, do you? He's a poser. Right. But one day, Dad took one of his tricks too far, and it vanished them both from this realm. Forever. Plot twist. I'm gonna be so sad. I was left to fend for myself, and there was no chance in hell, which is very real, by the way. I'd be sent to an orphanage, so I set up shop here in Flatirons and started selling my potions, spells, whatever. Oh, wait, can we go back to this hell is real thing? Don't distract her, the story's just getting good. A few years ago, this funny little Yakuza weasel shows up at my shop. <laughs> Sounds like Ken. Talking about how big a deal he is, how important his dad is. Definitely, Ken. They put me on their payroll and covered my expenses if I would just make myself available for any spells, readings, or incantations they ever needed. Anything for money, huh? Hey, a witch has gotta survive. I wiped her mind, gave control of her to the Yakuza, and that's the last I heard. Until you two came around. But to be honest, those Yakuza were getting pretty annoying anyway. Always bugging my customers. I've been thinking of breaking our deal soon. You should, and come help us instead. Mm, help you what? Take back the city and defeat Ken and his Yakuza army. Yeah, well, I didn't mean to give the wrong impression, but I don't give a rat's ass about any of that. Oh. However, if you two promised to come around my shop now and then, Pick up the business I would have had with them. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. I knew you were good at heart. Don't you ever say that about me again. Uh, got it. 
here. Take my emblem. You'll need it to get back out of the forest. Ooh, shiny. And expensive looking. Don't sell it. You might need it later. The Yakuza gave an emblem to each of their special employees, like myself. Other witches? <laughs> Hardly. I took care of their spells. Another their food. The girl their social media. Well, thanks for your help, Blair. We'll be back, I'm sure. You better. And bring cash. I'm not helping you out for... friendship. Not even a little? No. Okay, yeah, we'll bring cash. Thanks for the emblem.